Hello sports fans, as I know I'm uh, down in sunny and beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona at Valley Wide Sports Cards. All right guys, so we're inside the store. This is an awesome little store in Scottsdale. I really like it a lot. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of stores that have older stuff and things that you can peruse through. Also new wax as well as singles. So you can see here, there's a case it's got racing boxing pokemon quite a lot of singles and graded cards here other pokemon stuff not really my jam but it's here if you're into that then they've got a whole case of really nice higher end basketball stuff and there are some really sweet cards in here, including vintage. And again, I just love that mix of vintage and modern. Some great hockey cards over here as well. And more basketball. And they've got all kinds of sports cards other than baseball. More singles, more encased basketball. This is some really nice stuff in this top shelf. Larry Legend. Love that card. And wait till we get over to the baseball because there are some amazing stuff over there. They do have some boxing memorabilia as well and hats for sale. Supplies. Really everything you're looking for. Vintage wax, modern wax. And this is the kind of place you could just get lost all day and have an awesome time because again, every single sport, they've got great modern cards and then they've got great vintage cards. Look at that one right there. How awesome is that card? Ooh. But then they've also got the vintage stuff down here too. So we recovered from that eight years ago and somehow still made it. Can't beat it. And then same over here. We've got lots of vintage cards. You know, like we're trying to get it to a strong or trying to get it. And I wonder Noah was telling me about this collection that he bought, which included some of these cards right over here, certified autographs of Hall of Famers. Just amazing cards. My favorite, even though I'm a Red Sox fan, is that one right there. It's a triple signed Yankees card. Crush, Mantles, and Richardson. It's a pop one. There's the only one in the world. It's just awesome. Great dual relics and great autographs. Literally everything you could want. And some great boxes. The owner Noah is super nice, so I highly recommend coming to the store and checking it out. And I will, when I get home, show you all what I got. So before we get into all the loot I got at the store, I wanted to show you guys a few things I've been meaning to show you, and I think this is as good a time as any. Uh, this is an Anthony Rizzo action variant from Topps Heritage that I just didn't notice I had pulled, and I was just going through cards and, and noticed that. As well as, this is a very rare card. You'll notice that this one's got the color in the bottom right-hand corner. This one does not. This is actually an error C.J. Abrams card. So that's pretty nice. You see it says error right there. This is a Josh Lau that's going to be the uh, image variant. So didn't notice that one when I was pulling it either. Then this is pretty cool. This is a Xander Bogart's actually one of one from the Topps Volt that I got in a trade. And then I have an eBay purchase to show you guys. Check this out. eBay purchase of my boy Lou Bob. It's a Topps Gold Label and it's 4 out of 10 and I really like that because my birthday is... April 10th, so I like four 10 cards, as you can see that numbered four out of 10, and that's just a gorgeous auto. So just wanted to share those with you, and let's see what I got at the card shop. Okay, everyone, we're back home, and I'll show you what I got at the store. I just like the look of that 
Joe Montana card. I don't even know much about this set. I don't know much about vintage football, but it looks really clean. It's an 83 tops Joe Montana, so I like that one. This is just kind of a cool Roger Clemens card that I didn't have, and I do PC him, so pick that one up. I really like this J-Rod. Uh, this was 10 bucks, a red foil Destiny autograph, uh, excuse me, rookie card at a stadium club. I also PC Bobby D, so fun to see him appear in a Red Sox game the other night on the telly. There's Lou Bob, PC guy. Don't have that one yet. And then Will Clark, also a PC guy. Last but not least, Polar Bear, PC guy. So, very happy about all of those cards. That's not a real autograph, by the way. That is a simply a facsimile auto. And I picked up a little smattering of random hobby packs as well of Heritage, since I do like Heritage a lot. So, we got a couple 2022 Heritage high number. You guys have seen me opening a lot of this on the channel. I don't even know why I did that since I'm working my way through a case, but I guess, I don't know, impulse buy to have him throw a couple of those in there. Got some 2021 Heritage high number as well. It's been a while since I pulled anything good out of here, but I did pull a Juan Soto autograph out of here at one point. This is another one of those products that, oh, we got something in there. See that? That's a redemption or a relic. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, so... Ooh, and we got a backwards card too. Wow. We uh, we cleaned up with this random 2021 Heritage High Number group. So I'm trying to go carefully here so that we don't reveal anything accidentally. There's a Jonathan India rookie card. I'm going to go a little carefully here as we're getting closer to whatever... The special cards are here's the backwards card huh i thought i saw uh i thought i saw something in there that looked like a redemption maybe i am totally crazy all right what do we have here we have a mariner that's going to be a kellenic action variant rookie card that's actually a pretty good card uh he is yet of course to hit his full potential yet but nevertheless that is a rare card Hard to pull that one. You can see where it says action right up in the top left. So that's pretty cool. I'm puzzled though, because I thought that I had something else too. Oh, I see what it is. It's a Chrome card. All right. I knew there was something, some kind of different stock. So here's a Chrome card. It's an Oriole. It's gonna be Dean Kramer, rookie card to 9.99. So that's kind of whatever, but you know, it can go on the stage. Alex Karloff, rookie. So for a random smattering, Jake Cronenworth, I'm pretty happy to have gotten that uh, Jared Kellenick. That's notable, I think. Uh, I, I kind of love and hate to do this <laughs> because if you buy a whole hobby box, you know you're gonna get something good, like you're guaranteed to hit. But if you do it this way, sometimes you get something really cool and sometimes you don't. I would love to get one more really cool card just to justify it. We'll see what happens. Oh, we have a relic. All right, so I'll, I'll take that. Normally you don't like seeing a relic. There's Frankie out of Heritage because it means you didn't get an autograph, but when you're just buying random packs, it's actually kind of cool to get a relic because you weren't guaranteed to get anything because you were buying random packs. Again, I'm trying to go a little slow so that we can reveal it. There it is. Okay, so it's going to be right behind this Riley Green rookie. Let's be something big. We got a Glaber Torres, it looks like. Glaber Torres Clubhouse Collection. So, again, not an amazing card, but pretty cool for just a random smattering of stuff. Definitely will take that. Can go a little faster now, see if we get anything else notable if you're enjoying my review and the aftermath of everything i bought at the card shop ooh, there's a von grissom rookie pretty good last card well, please bop that like button for me real quick i would sure appreciate it let's look through and see that's a short print right there see anything over 400 is going to be a short print we're also looking for 
down in the corner it to say that something is a variant of some kind. Doesn't look like we got any. I think that Kalanick is gonna end up being the biggest card out of here, which is fine. I'm actually pretty happy with that overall, to tell you the truth. So this is gonna be a short print of Gene Segura. Short prints out of the 21 Heritage is gonna be anything over 700, because this is a high number product. So the Kristen Stewart is gonna be a short print, and the Nick Anderson. So there's two cards right there, short prints. And then out of the 22, we got the Luis Garcia short print. There you go. So let's do a quick review of these. For a random smattering, I'm pretty, pretty happy. That's, we did, we did all right. Would have liked to have gotten an auto, but again, you know, this is the risk you take when you don't buy a hobby box. And even if you buy a hobby box, you won't necessarily get an auto. So a few short prints, a chrome card, some rookies, and a relic and a short print rookie card that's pretty valuable. So very happy with that. So everybody put a big smile on your face and remember baseball cards are awesome and no mod loves ya. See you tomorrow.